in the saturated car reality show of restoring carnage. Car Masters Rust to Riches stands out due to its nature of remodeling the car to give the classic cars a new modern look. Each episode also features a unique project, which helps in keeping the show fresh. It makes viewers look forward to what will be next. Another interesting thing about this show is that it isn't produced by Discovery or History, two of the majority of car-related reality show producers. It is one of the few car reality shows produced by Netflix. Its Season 4 released on July 27, 2022, on Netflix, and it got quite a lot of mixed reviews. Some liked it, and some didn't, but still, there's no denying that there are those who are looking forward to the release of next season. So will there be another season? Netflix hasn't made any announcement regarding the show's future, but it's highly probable that it will get Season 5. Since all of the previous seasons had a total of 8 episodes, Season 5 will also likely feature 8 episodes. If we are to estimate, it will probably release somewhere in 2023 or early 2024. The show's entire season's episodes will also be released in bulk in a single day, so viewers can binge watch the entire season without having to wait for another episode. This is one of the best things about the Netflix series. However, did you know that Gotham Garage, the place where the show is filmed, got into legal trouble previously? Specifically, Mark Tao, the owner of Gotham Garage, was sued by Warner Brothers for violating its trademark and copyright. Mark had been building and selling knockoffs of the Batmobile, the famous car of the DC character Batman. He created both George Barris' original Batmobile, as well as its iteration from the 1989 Tim Burton film. Those replicas were sold via his company for around $90,000 each or $80,000 and $90,000 to be exact. While it might be wrongful, it does add real value to the name Gotham Garage. In 2011, Mark was sued by DC Comics for copyright infringement regarding the sale of the replicated Batmobile. The case was presented before the 9th U.S. Court of Appeals, where Mark argued that the issues that will be decided will have a significant impact on automobile makers and manufacturers. Well, it's safe to say it didn't really go that well for him. The U.S. District Court Judge, Ronald Liu wrote a whole 54-page ruling explaining that it is clear that the Batmobile is a copyrighted character. The court declared that the Batmobile was protected by copyright laws because of its defining gadgetry and its bat-like features. The case was subsequently closed in 2013, after ruling in favor of DC and its parent company Warner Brothers. Getting back to the show, many viewers were quick to note the many discrepancies in the show. The various scenes of the show also seemed scripted to many fans. Like the shown haggling process, there's not much information about the buyer or the post-buying process. And the process always seems to be the same, they need to sell the car to save the garage. Then they find the customer somehow at the last moment and sell it at a good price. But as most people know, sometimes you need to sell the car at a loss. However, that doesn't happen in the show. The negotiator, Sean Pilot, being a former actor also doesn't help verify its legitimacy. The scripted viewpoint seems even more valid when you consider that another cast member Constance Nunes also has a modeling background. As one viewer pointed out, she doesn't get her hands dirty, and then the next minute she is dripped with will everywhere out of nowhere. She doesn't touch an engine or even chip one of her fake nails in the process. So, there were a lot of questions regarding whether there's fakery going on or not. And that's it for the video. What are your thoughts on Car Masters? Are you a fan of the work done by Gotham Garage? Do comment on what your thoughts are. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like the video, and stay tuned for more.